Hi everyone, I just want to share some projects that I've made today. Um, made a selection of little things, um, all quick and easy projects. So I started off making three altered clothes pegs and I used um, some designer paper. I used these little hearts which are from Fernley Designs and I just covered them with some tea dyed cardstock. Added a three looped bowl one there and a little piece of ribbon here so that was the first one just like I'll just show you them they're only the small clothes pegs so there's that one and then this one again using a fernly <coughs> um, heart and the flowers are from iron roses and this one here I love the polka dot paper so that was them three oops that one doesn't want to set out properly there we go then, again, using some Fernley Designs um, cuts, I used the dominoes and I used some images on them. Then I uh, went over them with some UT. This one and this one here is some designer paper. I'm going to just cut that to size. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one here, Santa Claus, is um, a digital um, kit that I bought. Um, and all the images are exactly the same size for a domino so I used that one some bling on there I've made some little bead dangles with a little jingle bell on there and I didn't have well I do have red beads but to me they look a bit pinkish so I don't want to use them because you could really tell the difference um, and I bought them for something a while back and I'm really disappointed because they said red and they're not. So that's them three. Then I just done three little art tiles, and again these are digi kits that I bought from Etsy. And you can, there's millions, I would say, of beautiful collage sheets that you can use for your art tiles. And I just cut them out, put them on, went round that with some a gold pen, and UT them as well. So that's my three Paris art tiles. Then I got carried away, big time, making, I was watching YouTube last night when I went to bed and I'd watched a video by Poodles Papercraft and she's doing a series of boxes and bags that you can make using a 6x6 six six sheet of designer paper. <clears throat> so I thought, and she had done her full tutorial in like less than five minutes, so that's how quick quickly is to make these so I made quite a few um, so there's this one here and I just added some flowers and a little thanks tag and she'd used um, little tiny clothes pegs but I didn't have any so I just used paper clip and added some ribbon with a little bowl in there so there's that one and then there's that one love that paper and the flowers again little thanks tag this one here, absolutely adore that paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Paper's lovely. And I just put the flower there, the tag there, little um, paper clip and ribbon. And this one, and these are ideal if you'd like to send me out <coughs> racks or swaps, and you could just fill them with some buttons or a little bit of lace or whatever, or sweeties. And then this one. And finally this one, which I haven't decorated yet because I wanted to do it kind of masculine. But I sat longer thinking about how to do it masculine than it did to take, you know, it took me to make all of this. <laughs> so I will get back onto that one when I come up with something a little bit more manly. So that's what I've been doing today. And I'm going to carry on making some stuff. And if I do anything of interest, I will let you know. I will put the links below to Family Designs and, and to um, Poodle's Papercraft for the tutorial on how to make these. I'll be really interested to see all the other um, different designs that she comes up with with the 6x6 paper. And using 6x6 paper, that's the only bit of scrap you get out of a tiny, teeny piece, which is amazing. So you get your paper's worth in this one. 
So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions just ask.